just about a little over a month since all the plants went in. I wanted to show you a couple of things. This is the uh, red shoy, the large red shoy that's in the in the bucket. I'm really happy with that. And it's still full of water. Uh, nutrient solution. Then there's these two, two large eggplants. This one is still full of solution and this one's almost empty. There are two baby varieties, Hansel and Gretel. I've mixed up some solution and I thought I'd show you how everything works on the bucket uh, and replace a good amount to replace without drowning the air roots. The netting is held on with small bungee cords. I'll take the netting off, although every time I do take the netting off, a bug gets through, but I'll still take it off for the moment. So you can see the size of this plant and more than one flower. This is the only one that's uh, currently out, but isn't that a pretty flower? <laughs> this tubing serves two purposes. One, I can drain it at the end um, when I'm done, but also it shows you the level. And now I realize that the level is way down there, so it needs to get replaced. So these are the uh, recycled glass grow stones and make sure and keep them covered. They don't get quite so much evaporation. Okay, let's look inside. Hopefully uh, the roots are turning a bit brown. They were bright white before and the solution's way down there. So we're going to try and replace it. I've mixed up some in a fresh bucket. I mix it master blend, the tomato formula. I mix one half of a teaspoon per gallon. Uh, the calcium, I mix one half of a teaspoon per gallon. And then one quarter of a teaspoon per gallon of Epsom salts. But the, the order that you do it in is actually quite important. You need to do it in uh, the order of master blend first, calcium second, Epsom salts last. Do it in warm water, mix it after each addition to the water, mix it well, and you won't have any precipitation on the bottom. So that's four pints, let's see, two pints to a quart. Uh, so that's two quarts, so that's half a gallon I've put in. And I'm gonna stop there because I don't want to drown those, those air roots. Okay, put this back on. Geez, I can't even see that where that is. Oh, there it is. It's about right there. Okay, I'll put this back together. I did want to show you something else though. And that is uh, the cucumber is still making baby cucumbers. We've actually harvested a couple off of them. It took a while for it to get going because it had spider mite, but the new leaves seem just fine. Biggest problem I have is that you can't let the, uh, those tendrils come through the netting. They will rip the netting apart. So I think I'm gonna take this whole thing and put it down on the deck. I wanted you to see the growth on that green leaf lettuce. It's ready to harvest. It's still good, but it's ready to bolt. Um, all of this stuff, I've harvested a bunch. The one back there, it's just about gone, that the one that's so tall. But the others are fine. I mean, they are bolting, but they still taste good if you take the bottom of the stem off. This is the Adriana that uh, MHP Gardener grows, and it's, it's a very nice uh, romaine, or butterhead. They go back and forth as to what it is. And the rest are all same thing. They are ready to harvest. Slightly bolting, but still doable. And this is the red choy growing in the uh, tote, which is not doing anywhere near as well as what's in the in the bucket. These are the baby choys. I've harvested a couple of these. I love these. I highly suggest you grow baby choy. It's good in everything. <laughs> uh, and last but not least, I better check the water level on this. Nope, it's fine. I think it's just the heat that's doing it. Um, but as you, I hope you can see, that we've got two good sized peppers on there and lots of flowers and peppers on the top. The pepper behind it never got any bigger than that so I'm going to be taking it out but this one will give me a couple of peppers and I got this in late so I think if I didn't get it in so late 
peppers in buckets hydroponically using the cracky method would be just fine. Okay, that's it for now. Signing out.